What is going on guys? It is Monday and I am after school obviously because you can see the light and all. But we are heading to what will be my work. Way back burgers, love that place. I just came from the fire station after school. We we're looking at a new ladder truck. I got pictures of it all, but I didn't take a video. So I'll place those pictures in somewhere here. Uh, but right now we're heading to work. And I'm just taking this clip here to tell you and give me a place to put in the boat heads of the ladder truck. Oh, donkeys. Show you my new console I put in the truck, my new antenna also. I did that yesterday or the day before or something like that. Nothing exciting happened uh, last week, so I didn't even attempt to vlog. I not even want to clip. So sorry about that, but this week will be different because we'll have stuff here. So right now we're just hitting off. So, anyways, uh, let me know what you think about the ladder truck. Obviously, the arch will be green, not red. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so it's Wednesday, I didn't do any recording yesterday, it's after school, and I'm just wanting to show you some of the new stuff I've put on my truck. I need to fix this wire, it keeps slipping in a crack of the door. I want it up here, not in the crack. Now this is my new antenna. It's a four, three foot antenna, and I can definitely tell a big difference from the other. Oh, well, that's what was been rattling lately. It came loose. So I can already tell a huge difference from the other one. Yeah, I don't think it looks that bad. How I have it mounted. Near there. Oh, in focus. There we go. Mounted there. This mirror's got to come off anyway, just from this part on, because you can see how this one doesn't meet, is lower than the bottom, and how the other one over there is uh, higher. That's a original Ford, and this is an aftermarket one. So I need to replace that. The brace and all stay on. It's original. And here's my new console. Uh, wiring still kind of a huge mess down here. But it'll work itself out. Quick tour. Uh, oh, got to focus ourselves here. This is the backup camera switch. This is the smoke switch. Switch box. Uh, radar detector, backup camera screen, nothing, phone charger if I ever plug one into it, and uh, lights, the lights aren't even hooked up, the light bar, that light bar right there, and then here's the CB unit, I mounted it in here, can't shut it all the way but it's okay, I like it there, it's kind of cool, iPod, cup holders, all that. I put this light in. Pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. That's about all I'm done in here. Got it a little dirty. Needs big washed. I quit uh, Ohio Township Fire Department. And I'll be going to Newburgh Fire Department. Newburgh Volunteer Fire Department. So, once I get acquainted there, I'll probably wash it down there. Don't want to come on too strong, though, so I'll wait a while on that. Might wash it here. Who knows? But, that's just a quick little tour of that. I know uh, people have been wanting to see it. Since I put it in. And that was it. Alright. What do you see missing here? Thanks. Uh, to whoever broke it off for at least laying it in the bed for me no I did not take it out you can see it's still there I tried drilling that out and this is still on there it's uh, pretty rusted but thanks to whoever just laid it in the bed when you ripped it off I really appreciate it sure made my day Alright, so about my mirror, I got it all ground out. This is the other side. Now this one was aftermarket. So this one was off the driver's side and it was in good shape. Nothing wrong with it at all. But the only thing that makes separates this one 
from the OEM Ford one is the design on the back, which doesn't bother me at all. No Ford logo, which doesn't bother me at all. Different screws. The Ford had Phillips. This has sockets and the arm. Now this arm, you can see, has got a part inside of it. I'll show you better later. Solid. And down the spout, you see where it starts solid. But this piece here is actually hollow. Now this one goes in like so. Let me just jam it in real quick. Like that. And then the neck, the foot stops there. Now, this piece here is the exact same as the Ford. But the Ford one goes in like this. And the neck stops way down here, which allows this mirror to swivel in on the Ford one. So what I'm going to do is uh, give, take, whenever I get the new one, I'm going to first put both of them on just how they are folded out temporarily for temporariness. And focus the camera a little bit. And just drive around like that for a while until I get the spare money. Right now I'm kind of short on cash. When I get spare money, a week or two, I will be uh, taking one mirror off, going on Ace Hardware with just this part, and measuring so I could get a uh, rod that will go in there. And then I will take that rod, jam it in, and uh, cut it off and file it before it's even with this. And then... When that is done, I will take and drill a hole through the side, a very small, small hole through the side, through the rod, through the other side, and put a very small bolt in right there. And that will keep that stationary. And then I will thread the end of it correctly. Then I can put it in like that and have it where it will fold in. So that's how I will convert this tow mirror to work the same as the original Ford tow mirror. If you have any questions about this, please just leave in the comments. And I will obviously record when I do this. Yep. Alright guys, it is Saturday morning. I'm heading off to work, but I'm not driving this thing. You see, I got the mirrors all sorted back on. This is the original one. I re-threaded it. The right on and this side's the other aftermarket one and it's on I haven't been recording since it's been raining but of course I can't drive it now always something I don't think you can even saunt but there's a power steering line that's supposed to be attached there. Right. Let's see if you can focus. I believe it's a fire steering line. Right there. So that's what needs to be fixed next. I don't know what that consists of. I have it looked at today. But I'll fill you in as soon as I fill myself in. So. Whoop. Yard's peeing. But yeah, the situation with this thing. Other than that, mirror's perfect. So that's the that situation sorted out. A little bit more of a drippage, but not that bad. Oh, I kind of unfolded in more than out. I like it better. Well, off to my first day of work. I'll, uh, do a clip whenever I get off and share my wisdom again, I suppose. Oh, and I put a toolbox in if you haven't noticed. Covered up the stickers, but oh well. It happens. Alright guys, here's a little bit better clip from what I did yesterday. Uh, what I did today, you see I got keys now. A lot. Installed that. Because the other one didn't have keys. Now I'm just putting some stuff in. Eventually I need to get shocks, but I don't care enough to do that right now. So 
I'll do that much later. Uh, chains and Jack needs to put in the toolbox. And then I got my GPS. I'm gonna mount up here somewhere. I'm thinking right end of what we're there. I don't know if I were to run the cable or what in the recordings, but I'll do something with that. Phone charger. I was gonna coil it up. And I'm gonna put the keys to the toolbox and the keys to the oh shit, my ignition's on. Keys to the uh, trailer hitch on this thing and have it somewhere in here just so I don't lose it. That was a good something to do with this. This thing's actually pretty cool. I haven't showed you this yet. Ty gave this to me. It's like, I don't know how well you can see and I need to get in more focus. There you go. It's a chain. I was going to use it for the CB, but I decided against it. Because I just like it down here. Summertime, this thing gets real stretchy. I didn't even know it. Look at this. It would have never done that before. This thing will run outside the truck. Cool. But anyways, um, also, now that I know what it is, I don't think I mentioned it last time. The last clip, exactly what it was. I figured out what's wrong under here. Let's see if we can get you to even saw it what it is. You see this right here? This is where my line should be for my power uh, steering. And that is off. It blew off, which is very odd, but whatever. <laughs> oh, while we're down here, I might as well show you this. See these two wires? Well, there's a lot of wires running out of here. I've got my PA horn just, just sitting there. And then lights for the strobes in the grill. And the blue is a uh, backup camera. The, this red is going across here. I'll show you how to do this. Quick. There's three wires here. This is your uh, mass airflow sensor. And you cut the brown wire and you connected it in. And the brown's a ground. And then you just connect it to a toggle switch. And when that switch is on, it lets current flow through, it works like normal. When you turn that switch off, your check engine light will come on, but it's basically called a smoke switch. It doesn't really smoke that much more, not like extreme like you see on YouTube all the time, but uh, it adds a lot of horsepower, I've noticed. It, it'll, I don't know how it affects the turbo, but it definitely affects the turbo because it'll just... I can just stomp the gas and it'll just roast the tires off where normally it won't because of boost and all. But anyway, that's this clip. Alright boys, here's what we're dealing with. The new uh, hose. Now let me pop it on right quick in here. It doesn't look like too hard of a job. I suppose. But I'll record when I get it done. By the way, it's Monday. Uh, I decided to bring this vlog on in next week, and I'll cut it and do all that after I get this farm. I just wanted to finish this project up, so that's the deal. I mean, look, it's floating. This huge ass tree. Like I figured, it was, I figured this was somewhat solid. I thought you were recording this. Not expecting you to fall again. No, I mean I could make it, but look, it sinks really fast, and it gets really slick. Yeah, see, it gets really slick. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going. What's going on, guys? It's Sunday. Uh, this is the end of this vlog last week. I'm really sorry I didn't do any more vlogging. Uh, I've just been really busy, got a new job and everything like that. But, uh, yeah. That's the end of this one. Spring break this week, so I will have a lot of vlogging done this week. So, I'm sorry about the crap vlogs for the past few days. Please forgive me. Changed fire departments, everything else like that. You'll be seeing a lot of action for the fire department now. Because my new station is full of better people that don't care if I video record or not. So I'll be recording a lot of our uh, action we do. 
and all of our training and everything. So, until next time, hasta la vista.